Hi everybody, happy Friday. So we're on maths. Um, today what we're going to be like, um, today what we're going to be looking at is making patterns with shapes, um, but also including within that our learning from this week, um, where we're doing different turns. So it's all going to be incorporated. It's quite a nice activity today. It's a little bit arty, looking at patterns um, and how we can form these um, effectively. Okie doc. So it says choose a shape um, below to continue each pattern. So you're all pretty good at this. This is just a simple one to start off with. So all I'd say is just look at the shape, look at the colour um, and decide which shape would fit in. Uh, you can pause me at the moment if you want to have a little go at this yourself. But these are the correct shapes because they are obviously following on. So the top one we've got circle, triangle, circle, obviously red, blue, red. And uh, this one we've got different colours of squares, stars. And then these two are a little bit more complicated on the bottom um, where they have different shapes following on. Okay, doc. So some of your questions today will be similar to this. Draw the missing shape in the pattern. So you just need to make sure that you're um, understanding the pattern before um, and then ensuring that uh, you find the correct shape. So we've got sort of the L shape and it's going sort of the, the L's on the bottom here and then it changes to the top. Um, sort of spinning them round and um, doing a half turn, isn't it, on this one? What will the next two shapes on the pattern be? So what is this shape here? Just recapping, it's got one, two, three, four, five sides. It is a pentagon. Um, and then continuing that pattern correctly. Then some of your questions today will be to fill in blanks to describe the pattern, or you will literally just be describing it. Um, I might give you a pattern and I might want you to describe what's happening. So we've got a shape here, it's got a sort of arrow on it. What is happening to that shape? Which way is it turning? So it says turn the shape, a mm -mm turn in a mm -mm direction each time. So is the shape going in a clockwise direction? Mm, it could be, I suppose, but it depends if it's going three quarters of a turn. Let's have a look. So it is easy to say, turn the shape in a quarter turn in an anti-clockwise direction each time. So if you think about that shape, it's going in an anti-clockwise direction a quarter each time, right? Then this is another example of a question that you might have today. So what would the seventh and eighth shape in the pattern be? So we've got sort of an oval shape and then your triangle. So the seventh and eighth shape, it would continue on with the pattern. Then you might have a spot the difference. So which shape in this pattern is incorrect? And how do we know? So looking at that shape, sorry, looking at the pattern here, which one looks to be incorrect? So it says shape six is incorrect because the pattern is each, because the pattern is each shape makes a half turn clockwise each time and six, shape six has only made a quarter turn so each time it's making half a turn clockwise each shape is so the triangle's done that and sort of the 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 circle with the quarter missed out then we've got a bit of problem reasoning Alice says the pattern here is that the triangle is making a quarter turn in a clockwise direction each time and the rectangle is staying the same. Is he correct? Well, I don't think he is because the rectangle is also making a quarter turn each time. What patterns could be used making the shapes below? Include at least one turn in either a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. So a few different examples on the bottom here. If you want today, after you finish your work, to have a go at making some patterns yourself, brilliant, please do and send them across. So it says include in either a clockwise or an anti-clockwise direction. So on this one, we've got the rectangles here and then the triangle 
and this one is going in a clockwise direction I think and it's just doing a quarter each time. Okie doke. So mixture of activities today including patterns and also incorporating, incorporating um, your work from this week with your turns in the clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. Um, so happy Friday everybody. Keep trying your best. And then next week is our final week of home learning. Um, can't wait to have you all back in class together. So have a lovely um, Friday and enjoy your weekend. Thank you, everybody.